Hi, I'm Monday, or Grace, in <laughs> real life. And my friend Peyton's filming me because she's a wonderful person with lovely purple hair. It's true. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really sorry if this has to be posted on Tuesday, but my camera is an idiot. Um, which is all the explanation I'm going to give. That's also why I'm here. Yeah, so you can just make up stuff for the rest of it. Um, yeah, so... Um, Read the serious penguin question. Oh, right. My friend Francis, who I'll show a picture of right about now, um, is, um, wanted me to ask you, um, other purely awesome girls, and I'm anyone who here. watches this video, that... Because clearly you have thousands of adoring fans. I do, Peyton. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, a very serious question about penguins. Dun, dun, dun! She wants to know, if penguins live outside, like, all year and they never go inside, unlike other animals who have, like, nests and things, where do penguins go on vacation? Respond in the comments. Thank you. I love how you turn <laughs> You're not allowed to laugh. You make me nervous. Okay. Um, I think you should film me while I go into serious business mode. Right. So, Peyton's going to tell you some very serious things so, about dolphins because we love aquatic mammals. Yes, we do. Now hold the camera. Wait, dolphins aren't mammals. Oh, well, I'm tired. Yes, they are. They are? Stupid child. Oh, well. Okay, okay. talk, Peyton. So, pretty much, if you haven't seen the cove, I'm going to give you a brief synopsis. If you have, forgive the brief synopsis, okay? There are people who don't watch documentaries. So, um, and people who don't want to see dolphins get murdered. That, too. <laughs> I didn't watch it by choice, just so you know, my biology teacher forced me. Um, so, pretty much, this movie is about this town in Japan called Taiji, where um, they have this lagoon, and every year dolphins migrate through it. And... What they do, since dolphins are very audio auditory creatures, they use their sonar more than their eyes, really. They get these long metal poles and stick them in the water and pound on the top of them with hammers. Ew! And drive the dolphins into the lagoon, trap them there, and the town can come out and watch this process, and watch trainers come and pick whatever dolphins they want out of the batch. And then... What How do you they pick do, a dolphin? Well, they pick ones that they want to train. Oh, okay. Which is also bad, because captive dolphins tend to commit suicide. Um, Ew. Uh, Peyton, just get to the point. Okay, so what they do is the ones that don't get picked by trainers will be driven into a small cove that people can't see, and once they're in there, the people kill them, and they butcher them, and they sell their meat, which is also bad, not just for the dolphins, but for people, because dolphins contain a lot of mercury. Quick science lesson, mercury never leaves your body, so if a dolphin eats a fish that ate a smaller fish that ate a little invertebrate that ate a piece of plankton, the mercury is dangerously high in the dolphin, so if a person eats it, um, you could die, pretty much. And so, you know, they don't label it as dolphin meat, they label it as expensive meat from whales, which is also gross! Um, but anyway... Basically the point is stop dolphin murders, it's very bad. <laughs> yes, basically the point is that, um, I think if we raise awareness of this, sort of like with the Project for Awesome, if we get enough of videos about this up onto the front page of YouTube, maybe it'll stop. Also, if you want to, like, blog about it or whatever, that works too. Um, Make video responses, yeah. my non-existent fans, please. Yeah, um, because it just started up again last week, and or the week before that or something, and it's, it's horrible, and it needs to stop. Right. So that was my serious business announcement. Nice serious business announcement. Do you want me to take the camera? Right. Okay. We have very little time less left on this camera. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do the rest of my um, things very fast. So um, it was suggested in our little discussion about what we should put in the first video that um, there should be a tour of my room. Now, my room is many things, but a mess is one of the biggest ones. Well, it's also not very big. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of um, hot spots. Semi-important, yes, hot spots of my room. Now, if you look behind Peyton, and I'm pretty sure you've been able to see it for the video, uh, this is my giant wizard. Hello, giant wizard. I think he's nerdy enough to be included in the video. I like Peyton, his stop playing with him. 
Okay. She has a funny mustache. These are my Harry Potter books. An important part of any room, I think. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, junk. Um, Platypus. <laughs> yes. Beatles poster. Sign, signed Harry and the Potter's poster. Which... non signature. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is my um, more Beatles wall of stuff, yeah. which is not as good as. She's not ripping off Charlie, just right. so you know. Um, oh look, there's the pictures. Yes. Oh, how cute. Okay, so I shall <coughs> show you the contents of my wall of stuff. Grace, move the chair, or I won't be able to film you showing off your wall of things. Right. Or so. stuff. As this is be. a Far Side ca cartoon. This is a thing I got for evaluating karaoke. I like it because when you turn it upside down, down it like is a sad face. I've See? turned the camera upside down, but it still looks the same. <laughs> well, that's your fault. Um, these are pictures of me and Peyton and Harry and the Potters people. Those are stickers. This is a pamphlet on bear safety because I thought I might need it. Um, uh, shell from magnet. Where? Um, Ocean Shores, Washington, um, which is by Forks. Missoula. This is a magnet from Missoula, where she didn't go hang hunting. Know, she did not go hang the hunting there, and that <clears throat> made me sad. Only temperate rainforest. But in from when I was um, Team Mur. <laughs> yes. Oh God. <laughs> from History Day. I when see, I, I even a, knew what that meant. When we did a documentary on Merv Griffin, oh, pictures okay. of my friends, Ooh. and poster I designed with. Um, the poem, The Raven, on it, because I'm a Edgar Allan Poe dork. <laughs> and also just awesome. awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I have a challenge for you because I thought a challenge would be a good way to get the ball rolling. So um, I'm going to show you something artistic I did, and you should show me something artistic that you did. So I'm going to go get my artistic thing. Is it the thing? Yes. Oh, it's the thing. I love the thing. Okay. Because so, it's my thing, actually. Yes, I made this for Peyton. We're going to exchange. We each have one. Yeah, I and haven't... I drew on this. I'm sorry I haven't started yours. I had guitar and tennis. Yes, and school. Okay. I had nothing, because I have no social life. Um, Aww. Okay, so, it says, don't forget to be awesome all <laughs> over it. Many times. <laughs> yes. Um, so that you can see it has a head and a small, shiny tie. Okay. And a belt. And I just want to point out that the tie matches my hand because she drew on me impulsively with her shiny marker. I'm an impulsive person. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, so I have to wrap this up because Peyton is signaling at me like we're all professional-like. <laughs> That's the end, folks! <laughs> so, bye! Ah!